Welcome to this YouTube channel on how to buy businesses no cash down. I'm Carl Allen and I've been buying businesses for almost 25 years, more than 250 deals in 17 countries. This playlist is all about deal specification. So what type of business do you want to buy? The sector, location, the size of the deal, your desired role in the business, and how you bring your passion, your business skills, and experiences to bear. Here's the next video in the sequence. There are five in total. Welcome back. Next, I want to cover your wealth creation plan. Now, this module is important for both individuals and existing business owners. However, there is another module following on from this that builds on the first wealth creation plan to then include bolts and acquisitions. Now, even if this is your first deal, you should still watch the next video as it shows you how you can accelerate your individual wealth creation plan. So the wealth creation plan starts with the end in mind. It's an excellent business practice to know what your exit strategy is before you venture into business for a startup or for an acquiring an existing business. The only reason to go into business is to build it, sell it, and then get paid for it. The sale or the exit, as we call it, makes up the bulk of your wealth creation plan in terms of numbers. Now, my advice to you on your first deal is to shoot for something sensible and realistic. It's up to you how are you aim. The system works up to $20 million in target business annual sales. However, I always recommend you learn to perfect the process in the early days with smaller deals. Less can go wrong and you'll have far less competition targeting smaller businesses. Therefore, I recommend a maximum $5 million wealth creation target for your first deal. Now that's still going to put you in the 0.2% bracket we talked about in the original webinar or $1 million per year provided you hold on to your business for the full five years. And as I mentioned earlier, bolt-on acquisitions will rapidly accelerate this and I cover that in the next video. For now, however, let's cover off the basics of a wealth creation plan. So your total number has got three elements to it. First, it's the exit price, which is the price that you agree to sell your business for after X number of years when you decide you're ready. The second part of the number is the money that you're able to take out of the business on a regular basis, whether it's weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually, however you want to do it. And then the third part of your number is the cash that you take out of the deal at completion. So in essence, it's getting paid for doing the 18 weeks of work to get your business in the first place. And let's discuss each one of these separately. So the exit price is the value of your business in terms of its equity or share value, plus the cash in the business at the time you sell it, which is your money, less any long-term debt that the business owes, either to the former seller, if you've got deferred future payments, and to any financiers that have lent you the money to do the deal. Don't worry, we get into all this in detail over the next 18 weeks, and I also cover it at a very high level in the next video. Now, there are many tax-efficient ways to take money out of a business that you own. It depends on where the business is registered and your own personal circumstances, but any accountant or tax advisor can advise you accordingly. Monthly income as salary, consultancy fees, benefits, dividends, perks, bonuses, whatever they are. On these types of deals, you can have the business pay the professional fees to the accountant for the advice and structure it on a contingency basis. So the business pays the fees, not you, and only if the deal completes. Again, we get into that in much more detail in the due diligence and legal sections later in the training. However, have your chosen accountant structure the best way for tax purposes to take money out of the business on a regular basis. And finally, is the cash that you're able to take out of the deal at completion. So this is essentially the total funds raised in step five of the process, less any cash the seller needs on day one, if they do, less any cash required for growth and professional fees in completing the deal. Now you may find that the business has sufficient cash left in it at completion to do all of this stuff and I'll guide you through that later on in the process. However, for now, just know the principles involved. Now, if the seller doesn't need any cash at completion and the business has sufficient funds to pay its bills, then 
you can take as much of the fund raised for yourself. So let's look at an example based on the 5 million number. Now the cash out at completion is difficult to quantify at this stage since you haven't seen any businesses and you've got no direction as to the financials, the fundability and how the deal may be structured. In 18 weeks however you'll know all of this stuff in micro detail. However for now just take 5% of your total number of 5 million dollars for the day one payment. So in this case it's $250,000. Next, consider the annual cash that you'll want to take out of your new business. You may base this on what you're currently earning in your job, or what you need to meet your family overhead and do all the things you want to in your life, or you may want to hire them out. You know, who doesn't? For this, it's prudent to use the same number as the day one cash, but replicated for each year that you own the business. Once we start originating opportunities and reviewing the financial numbers, we can fine tune this, but for now, just take 5% as an annual amount. And last but not least, the largest of the three numbers is the exit payment. This will be the difference between your number, so 5 million in this case, less the day one amount, less the annual monies over the time you plan to own the business. So in this case, we have a total of $1 million over the three years plus the completion payment. This leaves 4 million as an exit payment. Next, let's look at how this translates into the current size of the business. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we use a multiple of profit to translate the exit price to profitability. Operating profit or EBITD as it's referred to. That's earnings or profit before interest, which is the I, tax, which is the T, and D, which is the depreciation. There's a full set of modules on the financial aspects later. I think they're in week four. But for now, I just want you to understand the principles involved. So start with a five times multiple for prudence. And that is on the low side, especially if the business is in the technology, telecom or pharmaceutical sectors. And remember, some businesses sell for much higher multiples, 10x, 50x, even 100x in some cases. But let's keep this really simple and conservative. Just start with 5x. So that's it for this particular video. The next video in this playlist will follow and please check out all the other playlists and videos for everything you need to know to learn how to buy a business no cash down. In fact, I've crammed everything that you need to know into a special 90 minute webinar titled Three Insider Secrets to Buy a Profitable Business Inside of 99 Days Without Cash or Knowing How to Run a Business. And here are the three big secrets, the three killer training topics. Think of these as hurdles to you becoming a business owner. First, I'll show you exactly what the 10 steps are to buy a business, and you must follow these in order. It's really critical. Second, I'll show you lots of case studies of deals structured using OPM, other people's money. And it's no more difficult than high school math. And finally, I'll show you how you can get others to operate the businesses for you. So you can do other things like spend time with your family or buy other businesses whilst enjoying the cash flow that your new business is generating for you. So to register for this groundbreaking training, just click on the link underneath this video on YouTube or type in this link into your browser. It's bit.ly forward slash buy hyphen my hyphen business. And I'll see you on air sometime in the next week. Until then, bye for now.